All right, Sim Gamers. Here is the st the status, the situation. Our current intel. Um, we have eighty three hundred pieces of gold after having delved into the dun into the dungeon. Um, our avatar has picked up some stats. Dexterity is now 41. Um, which means he's going to be taking very little damage. He's quite tanky. Quite tanky. Oh no, the dexterity isn't isn't that's defense. Uh dexterity is 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 uh how quickly we act during a combat. By comparison, we're going to be acting twice as many times per combat as Dupre, I think, if I'm reading it right. Shimino's pretty good. Maria's, you know, down there. Katrina. So, yeah. We're going to be putting out a lot of damage. Um, with this much money, we should have no issue uh, uh, finally being able to purchase one of those sextants, sextants that we've been trying to get. Um, so we're going to pop through this moon gate up to, up to Minnick. Run down to Vesper, which is a relatively close and highly accessible place where we can get um, some thieving supplies from the guild, or guild supplies, I should say. Stock back up our gems and other things. Rogues, get out of here. Um, I guess since I'm doing overland adventuring, I could have uh, given blood, donated blood. We'll have more opportunities. We'll have an opportunity of a minute to donate blood if we want to really quick up there, I think. Any chance to increase our... You know... To sacrifice ourselves. Self-sacrifice. Until we get that avatar hood. Um... So this is going to be, uh, this is not going to be a dungeon crawl episode. This is going to be a running around, um, getting stocked up. But I think reasonably we are across the halfway point for the series. And he stole some gold as well. Uh, I want the full moon gate coin to Minic. And that reminds me, do we do have we do have access to the gate spell, so I could cast gate to go anywhere I want. Based on the phase of Felucha. I'm not in a hurry necessarily. I don't have to worry about um really need to worry about conserving or being overly conservative with my hit points, these creatures are these overland creatures at this point are easy enough to deal with, if not a little bit tedious. But uh, Sim does only have a few more, a uh, little bit more experience to get before she's level six. Now, level six, we'd be able to pick up another party mate. I'm kind of thinking I want Katrina. Uh, no, I have Katrina. I want um, the Tinker. Trying to remember her name. There we go. So we're going to take care of the dungeons we can take care of on land without having to use a boat first. And then we'll do the, uh, the ocean or sea accessible ones. There's weaponry. Really, the city of self-sacrifice doesn't have a healer in uh, inside? Interesting. Because we have to go to a Vesper for that. Well, we're here. We'll see what weapons they have. Remember right, they might have some wep magic weapons. The ironworks. Yeah. Get a magic sword for anyone. Considering how often I'm going to be attacking, a magic sword would be really, really useful for me. And then we can, um... 
send my sword to Shimino for now. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Equip me. Um, my offense goes to 109. Oh, Shimino can't wield a regular sword. Can Shimino ma wield a magic sword? Yes. So Shimino can wield a magic sword, but not a, wheel a regular sword. Really? I'm going to be greedy. The only cons constant thing that I know that we're going to have in the party is me. Yeah, Shimino can't wield a sword. Um, we're going to go ahead and sell our other sword. Because we don't need it. Okay, well, let's go to Vesper, and, um, I mean, we'll take a pit stop up here and donate to the poor. Here, have some food. We don't need to stay at the inn. I'm really surprised there's no healer or minic. the town of sacrifice, but there's no way to offer any sacrifices. All right, we go across this um, field here. Fight some headless. That's right. That magic sword is pretty impressive. I'm gauging myself against Dupree to see how long I attack, how often I attack. It looks like, yeah, I get... Sim gets twice as many attacks per battle as Dupree does. More or less. Okay. We want a bunch more magic keys. the Shrine of Sacrifice. We could go there and meditate. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But first... Ooh, another weapon, another weapon shop. Hey, come here and talk to me. What you got? Swords? Slings? Daggers? Normal stuff? Okay. Well, we're here at the guild shop for guild shop purposes, so let's make sure and buy what we're looking for here. Uh, I want to see about the sextant, so I want a sextant. The right price? What'll it be? How much do you offer? Um, I'll go 500. Hmm. I couldn't part with it for less than 900 gold. I'll make another offer. How about 700? Split, uh, sp split the difference. All right. We now have a sextant, so we can finally accomplish those quest items that we've been trying to do. Um, show me your goods. Ask, <clears throat> seems you've already got one. See you, mate. I should have just made that an optional dialogue, so it wouldn't actually show the option again. Well. Um. We didn't actually use all that much dispel powder out of the 25 that I had. 
Seems like having 50 torches was plenty. We did, however, use all of our magic keys. But it's only a thousand buck for, bucks for 99 of them. We'll maximize our max, uh, magic keys. Grab enough magic gems, a couple of dispel powders, and we are all set for the long-term adventuring in dungeons. Do you sell... We, um... We should, however... Oh yeah, our rations are really low. We need to get ourselves to Scarabray. To get some rations going. Um, I think the best way to do that at this point is honestly going to be the gate spell. Let's go ahead and go in the Shrine of Sacrifice and meditate for two, two cycles. You enter the Shrine of Sacrifice and sit before the altar. For how many cycles would you like to meditate? Two. Recite the mantra Ka and begin your meditation. Ka is for self-sacrifice. Ka, how may I serve others? Ka, says the crow. Your thoughts are pure, you are granted a vision. To flee and leave your companions is a self-serving action to be avoided. Okay. So, running away... is not conducive to sacrifice. Not that we've had to. Um, you know, it's coming up on the new moon rather rapidly here, so we'll go ahead and step on in here and grab some more mandrake. Ghosts. Okay, I've got a magic sword now. And I missed. <laughs> Everybody's missing! Now they get to drain my life. How much damage do I do with this magic weapon now? A good amount. Alright. Well. I mean, Repel and Dead is still the thing to do. We do need to make our rounds and go buy some reagents from places. That might include a stop at Buccaneer's Den. Yeah, having that magic weapon is pretty good. I could get another, I could get a magic axe for only 1500 gold out of Vesper. Since I have my, um... Since I have... All of the dungeoneering supplies from the guild that I need. Although I don't know what my reagent situation is looking like right now. Okay, what are we looking like for reagents? <laughs> um, we're good on black pearl, garlic, uh, black moss. You know what? With the exception of sulfurous ash, we didn't actually use all that much. Impressive. Hopefully we can get some good harvest of Mandrake here. And that's all we're going to get out of the deal. Let's go ahead and get some Cure Poisons down the line here. Um, if I spend 1500 on the magic axe, then go to Scarabray, I should be able to pick up an affordable set of reagents and a bunch of rations. Like if I spend a thousand gold on rations, that's 10 rations right there. So 1500 golden rations would be good. Because we, uh, we did 
use a lot of rations. All right, back down here for that magic axe. Right? Oh, no, it isn't here. It's in Minnick. Okay. Minnick is where the magic axe is found. Nice thing about using the gate spell is I don't have to worry as much <laughs> about um, being right on time for stuff. So I know that at first, since if I, if I cast Gate now, I would end up in Scarabray. But I want to stop by Minic first. This is all difficult terrain, all these mountains and trees and stuff. Okay, uh, back to the weapon shop. Yes, please. Oh. If I spend 2,500 bucks on another magic sword, it'd be so good for Shimino. That would leave me with just shy of 2,000. Dupree could also benefit pretty well from a magic sword. Notably, I haven't taken into consideration any armor. Um, now, I'm going to buy a magic axe. We'll have Dup uh, Dupree wield the magic axe. Now, what that has the effect of doing is... um. And I'm going to keep that other sword. Dupree ends up being a ranged weapon because the, the magic axe, the axe is actually a thrown weapon that magically returns to its thrower. Can I take the chain no, he can't wear a chain. I was kind of hoping that Shimino could wear chain mail. As more of a frontline fighter. What am I wearing? I'm wearing I'm wearing I'm wearing leather as well. Yeah, we are not very well armored. That's all there is to it. Um, based on these moons, I don't even need to cast the gate spell. I can just actually naturally use the full moon gate. To go out to Scarabray with our 2,908 gold. So we're going to buy probably 15 reagent or 15, uh, 15 rations. And spend the rest on make sure we're topped off in magical reagents. It's a bunch of trolls or a bunch of Ettons. Yeah, that magic weapon's gonna do work. Let's just go ahead and do what we can to end this combat quick. Shimino? I need to move. I need to have. Let's see here. If Dupree. Dupree is using the magic axe. Therefore, as a backline. Um. Yeah, he's using the magic axe. Therefore, as a backline fighter. That means I should equip the chain since I'm going to be up there with Shimino 
taking some punches. So I want to be able to deflect as many of those blows as I can. And I think that's the way to go. One more moon phase. Off to Scarabray we go. Okay. Another little donation over here. Um, yeah, some gold. Ooh. <clears throat> um, she hasn't been here before. What can you teach us about spirituality? Says Katrina. Ambiel replies, My friend, granted, tells me the aunt grants visions about the rune. But you'll need the mantra. Ask Baron. Alms, alms for the poor. Okay, a blind woman turns to you and says, Welcome to herbs welcome to herbs and spice. I am Sasha. Are you in need of reagents? Yes, and I will pay full price. Alright. Top off our sulfurous ash. Top off our ginseng, our blood moss. Spider silk. This is so affordable now, it's ridiculous. 387 gold on garlic. Even though this is like one of the most expensive places to get it. There's nothing anymore. 1900 gold left for our rations. Once you get to the point... Oh, yes, I want to donate. Yes, I will donate blood. And over here for some food... I'll buy as many rations as I can afford. And then how about um, some lodging? In the little night you hear. Flats within the clouds, that's a typo. The white stone once in high laws in a mountain cave. I have the white stone. I should update that dialogue. Be like, hey Isaac, be full of hope, for I have the white stone. Cast a little healer healer Tino on that. Um now. Where do I want to go next? Ooh, that's nice, being able to crush Nixies in one hit. Shimino, slap him with that axe. Or I guess Shimino's using a spear. Dupree's got the magic axe. Um, we're kind of hanging out until either. Oh no, we're not. What am I thinking? Why travel when you can blink? And where am I in relation to the map? So I'm here. I'm very near Spiritwood. We can go down and find more of that nightshade really quick, hopefully. We can get there in time. Yeah, there it is. Nightshade's in full bloom and we've got 12 of it. Being able to blink around is great. Do the map. Um... So, looking at the map, there's this one dungeon in Serpent Spine that we took care of. There's a dungeon down here in these mountains uh, southeast of Spiritwood, west of the Fence of the Dead, that we should be able to locate and find. Uh, but really, that's for future stuff. 
I think I need a ship. I need a ship so I can begin um, using my sextant and getting the rest of the stuff that we need to that we're looking to find. Let's see if I can't find a shoreline here to um, attract a ship with. 161 damage on a crit. And me attacking um, almost twice as often as uh, Dupree does. Me definitely attacking twice as often as Dupree does. Bunch of ginseng and garlic. Dupree is now level 6. That's awesome. How do you get to level 6 before me? Oh, I'm level 6. I'm level 6. Since I go so often and have a fairly good mana pool, I think it might be time to swap out the ranger. Possibly for another frontline fighter. Well, that means still need to find a ship. I guess I could have also maybe bought a skiff. Oh, there's the dungeon we want to explore next. Rogues. Not necessarily who I wanted to fight right now. Having that much dexterity, becoming a bard, and getting all those advancements in dexterity means my character goes very often. <laughs> I can only imagine what it would be like with a quickness spell. Trying to steal my food and run, eh? Maria? Can you get him? Nope. Shimino? How about you? Okay. That goes back to Scarabray. Fast traveling around the world is a little bit problematic sometimes. But that's okay. We're just tying up loose ends. A boar. Well, hopefully we can harvest a little bit of food out of the deal. Yep, found some food. Well, if I don't get a ship before the um this moon changes, I'm just going to cast Gate. Since we have all the reagents necessary. Okay. Maria? You're probably only a person with enough mana, yep, to do this. Gate travel! Welcome to Jellum, everybody. <clears throat> we can donate more blood. Sure, why not? Oh, everyone's healed up to full on that. Okay. Um. I can't afford any of this armor. We can't afford any of these weapons. <laughs> we successfully burned through all the cash we earned. However, we're going to talk to this gentleman right here. Dupree says, 
We would be honored with your company, Jeffrey. Ah, a true warrior! I desire to fight again in battle. Shall I accompany you? Yes, please join. Dupree asks, how does the saying go? All for one? One for all, my lord! Joffrey, warrior of Jellum, joins the party. Now we need to rearrange. We are keeping... Joffrey comes in at level 4. I think we're keeping Dupree in... Man. Going into battle without any armor is definitely a, a move there, Jeffrey. <laughs> At least gets you something. You've got an axe. We can give you a sword, which will... Uh... Okay, so Jeffrey's got a sword. Uh, yeah, no, the sword is better than a spear. I think. Let's just double check. Jeffrey the fighter. Yeah, the sword is the way to go for him. We'll keep you equipped in case we need to bring you into battle. Um, I'm curious to see how far away he is from leveling. Not very far away, actually. So we now have a frontline, another frontline fighter. Dupree's using a magic axe. Jeffrey, a fighter. Now here's what's interesting. Me with a magic sword, I've got offense of 111. Jeffrey with a regular sword has an offense of 95. Um, certainly one way to play this game is to find your way to Jellum relatively quickly and pick up Jeffrey as an early party member. He just in melee crushes things. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, at level 4 with a sword, Jeffrey has more offense than Dupree at level 6 with the magic axe. That's pretty good. Where to next? I think at this point... I think at this point we're going to call this episode to a close. The next thing we're going to be doing next time is... Um, grabbing a ship with our sextant and sailing around and getting a whole bunch of loose ends tied up. So until then... Thank you for tuning into this very special um, presentation of my fan recreation of Ultima 4 and RPG Maker MZ. Um, once again, exclusive content only available here. And until next time, I've been Sim Gamer.